I see it. It's not. It can't be it. I saw it. What? <gasps> Morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. Daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's flurried video, make sure you come back every day. Sarah showed me an Instagram post from somebody cover showing like the the bean in Millennium Park covered in snow, and it was like there's record breaking lows in Chicago, and there might even be snow. And I happen to look outside, and from all on the couch, I can see little flurries. Now it's not really snow, but it's flurries. Teddy thinks it's funny. It's begun. How do you feel about your first flurry? Ooh. Excited? It is exciting. You going to eat that? We got cocoa on. I mean, you know we're Christmas people. We're embracing Halloween right now. But we're just, we, our blood thinned when we became Floridians, and we're not ready for the cold. What do we have here? Got a little snowsuit action. You gonna go to the store with your mom? Yeah. Yeah. You ready for an adventure? We're just going to Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah, just a stroll to Whole Foods. Maybe pick up some Lacom Cologne. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We decided to come outside and see the flurries for ourselves. They are far and few between, but they are there. It's so it's so chilly out. James is actually keeping this hat on because he knows that it feels good. <laughs> Our destination is Whole Foods. You can return Amazon orders here. Ooh, look at that low plane creepy in the clouds. Those are creepy too. You can return your Amazon orders at this location, which is really convenient. We are back from Whole Foods and it was so, oh no, he disabled my iPhone. It was so, so easy returning through Amazon there. We're so lucky that we live in walking distance to a drop off location. Um, because that was so, so easy. They just scanned my little QR code and I handed it back to them. I didn't even have to package it up or anything. That one's fabulous. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a little, a little haul. And it was flurrying out, but not enough for me to capture, but definite flurries. And I bet you that there will be even more later today. Teddy can blow bubbles now. Alrighty, here's the couch, Whole Foods haul, with no hands. Upper, upper, upper. Oh, you found the microphone! Ah! Curveball in our haul. Um, Jamesy saw this and said, wow, and asked me to open it, so we're gonna have a little bite of this. It's chocolate pecan pie. Super informal little haul. Mixed berry breakfast bars for easy breakfast. We like to do breakfast easy in this household, you know. Two little ones and no. all. Island mango kombucha. This Olipop, which so many people recommended to me after I decided that we weren't going to have Pepsi in the house anymore. I will do a little taste test of this because I'm weary, but I've heard good things. So, um, pita crackers for, you know, sneaky snacking. Got grape jelly. I think I'm gonna make like barbecue jelly you know that mix that you can put on meatballs? I think I'm gonna make that soon. I have those meatless meatballs from Aldi, so I got great jelly. And then two things that were on mega sale were these good to go bars. They're blueberry cashew. They are usually so expensive, um, but they were on crazy sale. So I'm gonna try those out. And then jar jackfruit. Never, never have gotten that before but again it was on really good sale figured we've been keeping up keeping it plant-based at home pretty pretty
pretty well. And so I thought having some jackfruit might inspire me to make, um, I don't know, make something yummy. So those were my two like impulse sale purchases. Open um, the pie. The pie is a hit. Alrighty, I made a tripod out of our boxes. Um, and this is gonna be herky jerky, but I'm gonna try this alley pop. It also says, those are good crackers. I'm glad you like them. It supports digestive health, prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber. Two grams of sugar, which is a lot less than a can of Pepsi. And I'm not really sure what else is in here, but we're gonna see if it tastes enough like a Pepsi to enjoy it. It is good. And I would drink it to get a cola fix. I get that it has like the vintage flavor that like that real sugar flavor, which I prefer to get just like the current Pepsi. I don't like the, I'm not crazy about like the throwback version. It's not what I was expecting. It has like, it has like a healthy flavor to it. It is a little bit more, I feel like it tastes a little closer to like root beer. Like maybe there is some sort of, yeah, there's a ton of different roots and yeah but i wouldn't be like oh my gosh this is like i need this this is the perfect you know like i'm gonna drink this instead of pepsi and i'll be satisfied for the rest of my days like it's a good alternative option from a pepsi drinker through and through like not even just like a regular pepsi drinker like a very everyday pepsi drinker um I'll enjoy it. Okay, so it says it's like a sparkling tonic. So it's not sparkling water. Like it's the first, the first ingredient is carbonated water. Um, oh, hello. You got stickers from Whole Foods? Kinda got a messy mousse right now. Um, what would I rate it? I'd rate it a solid B. Okay, more thoughts as I continue to drink. <gasps> hello, oh sorry, you're trying to go down for a nap. <laughs> um, he's been falling asleep on my shoulder with his little lovey. Yeah, yeah. He's a little sleepy. Um, I think I downgrade my grade to a C. I don't like as I'm drinking it more and more. It tastes flat. Like it has that same like linger as it as um, a flat pop taste. I'm giving my review. I look cozy. <laughs> Peter took a drink and said, I'm mad at you. Because <laughs> uh, he does not like it. I think it's like it tastes kind of flat, even though it is carbonated. It, it, honestly, to me, I imagine, I imagine it's what like an old time soda jerk. Yeah. That's what like an authentic Coke probably tastes like. Yeah. But there's, there's another flavor in there that it reminds me of Christmas but I can't put my finger on what it tastes like. Maybe it's like a candy or something my grandma had. <laughs> Evie, what are you waiting for? You waiting for this bag of, or container of candy corn, huh? Is that what you're waiting for? So peacefully, so sweetly? All right, I'm done with work for the day. And it's kind of exciting because it's like a relaxing, lazy Monday, AKA Friday. I'm taking work off tomorrow to go to the pumpkin patch with the family, um, pre-planned, so I should get to the day, and I did. So now we're ready to boogie, but it's also cold, and it's rainy tonight. So I'm thinking cozy fall movie relaxation if the two kids under two cooperate. Probably two under two for a little bit longer. I know. James is up from his nap. Teddy napped twice during Jamesy's Ow. nap. Ow. Ow. Teddy, 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 Teddy. Um, happy to report that we did not go on a walk today for our nap. It, it did take a bit, but I think 
We're gonna get a good routine in, and it's day one of good nap time <laughs> vibes. Teddy, Teddy came along for the ride. Basically, Teddy's a key component. So the routine is lunchtime. Then we'll read books in his room. Basically, we do like his bedtime routine where we read books, um, relax with like half the lights on. Um, and during that time, I try to get Teddy asleep. Well, I tried. This was the first day. Um, and then as long as he cooperates, me and Jamesy can snuggle. Um, and like I said, it took a little bit today, but it was a success. Like, it was a success, period. There's nothing else to it. We didn't go in the stroller. And a nap happened. So, what are we gonna do next, Peter? Should I make dinner? Are you hungry for dinner? Or, I gotta work on Jamesy's two year, like, montage video. Um, what do you think? I'm not hungry right now, so I'm going to work on the montage. Okay. First up on the movie night, the scariest stories ever told. The Mickey Mouse special. You remember last year, I put up a one second a day video for Jamesy's first birthday. There's gonna be another one for his second birthday. I usually do a good job of adding a clip every day, but I got behind since you can see Disney in July. So locked myself in the bedroom, gonna get it done. I got through like August. Um, I'm going to cook and I like, you guys know I love a good montage. I love finding the perfect music, and I think I have the song I want to use for Jamesy's video. Um, but I don't know why I'm second guessing it. So I wanted to be surprised. So maybe no, I'll just it, it won't ruin the surprise. If you have any suggestions for like good, I love you so much. Exciting, energetic, you're my whole world type of song. <laughs> um, uh, put it in the comments below. Um, Alrighty, I'm gonna cook. I don't want to, but I'm hungry, so let's cook. All right, another movie for the night to get the fall feels, Hocus Pocus 2. And we had an outfit change. Had a little bit of a blowout. Oh, strong kid. Uh, oh, it's a big kid. Timber! Oh. Here is our dinner. I kind of dropped the ball. I'm not showing much while making it. What? These are meatless meatballs from Aldi with grape jelly and barbecue sauce mixed together to make Shout out to your cousin. A yummy sauce. And then this is leftover rice and quinoa that I have given a new life with butter, oat milk, a ton of garlic, and lemon juice for like a little risotto action. What are you doing over there? Alrighty, we got applesauce homemade for my BFF Lauren. Um, we also have garlic everything bagels. I promised Peter garlic bread and then our baguette was Toast. I just couldn't save it. I'm sorry. It was it was totally it was just stale as heck. Then last a little simple salad, tomatoes, greens, some Caesar salad and some pesto. We haven't we haven't forgotten about our Christmas countdown. So we got Christmas tunes going on. Just wait until you can eat real food. Are you ready to eat real food? Like yes. He had a great idea to share some applesauce with Teddy. Ooh. Could find a bigger spoon. Mmm. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> right. Apparently, post dinner, James wanted nothing to do with Hocus Pocus too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was you. He really didn't look, and I took the opportunity, and it was like I gave it like a minute, <laughs> and I wow. said, "James take and I were enjoying it." This child needs to go take a nine eye. Dinner was one of the best dinners of all dinners. Wow, it was such a cozy, yummy dinner. 
And James had so much. Oh, your name's Teddy. <laughs> Teddy had so much applesauce. Oh my gosh. He did. This is the no shame game. We parked the car on the street so Christina could have the car spot yesterday, but because they didn't turn off street cleaning for the season, and I have to go walk and get the car. And yes, I got these sandals and these nice pajama pants on. This is a teacher. It's a teacher, teacher, what do you see? Oh, goldfish. Yes. This is one of your favorite. This is probably your favorite book. James and Teddy put up quite the fight. I think both going to bed, but they're both asleep. It's 11 o'clock now. Um, Sarah and I were just talking about how it's that point in the night where it's like it's late enough that if we could just go to bed, but it's so early enough we can get some of the things we want to get done done. So it's like, what do we do? So I'm actually going to do some of the dishes and then. Uh, Sarah's <laughs> Joseph for some McDonald's. Um, no, I'm just joking. I need to go out to the car to get the drone because that needs to charge tonight. So that's why I'm like, why don't I just stroll around the corner to McDonald's then? Um, but I'm also going to put in a training schedule from Dopey Weekend because even though I just completed the Chicago Marathon a week ago, I need to get back out, get the shoes laced up, spend time on my legs, and train for my third Dopey? Okay. My fourth Dopey. My fourth Dopey coming up here in early January because it'll be here before we know it. So I actually am going to do a different training block. It's a bit more intense, so I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm also excited about it. All right, I took this CoachJenny.com Dopey Challenge training, but I modified it to increase a mileage a bit. And then what I do is I add this to this Google Map that's synced to my phone so that I can see like which day I'm doing cross training, which days I'm running miles, and how many. As you can see, I'm already going to be running. Uh, this week is a nice we'll get back into it. Then already next week I'm running 18. Um, weekend after that is an off. The weekend after that's 10. The weekend after that's 20. Um, so definitely getting just continuing off of the, F, uh, the aerobic base I built off of Chicago Marathon training block into Dopey. All right, so that is my plan. So six miles begins tomorrow. Back to Dopey training, back to running. It'll feel good though um, to have that set on the horizon. It's actually not that far from now. Um, so that was one of the two things I promised I'd get done tonight. The next is going to be to do the dishes. So I, you guys don't really need to see me do the dishes. But know that I'm doing them. And then we're going to go to bed because I think we said earlier today that we're going to Pumpkin Patch tomorrow. Um, so, got to get to bed at some point here to get ready for that. So I'm going to go ahead and say, it's good to be home. I'm excited to be training for a dopey. And this is, this is probably going to be my most intense dopey training I've done to date. Because my other dopey trainings were like, I either didn't train for it, or like my first dopey was like, just spending this long journey of becoming a runner. Now coming into my fourth dopey will be my seventh endurance race, AKA like a marathon or greater. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to say what my goals are for dopey because I have like four different ideas and I will have to wait and see how training blocks go. And it's too soon to say what one of the goals I have is what which one we'll be pursuing come that weekend that lovely lovely weekend in the beginning of january so good night we love you guys it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions